Last year, they're a good unit. Um, they obviously beat us last year. And Clayton Thorson, you know, he's a great quarterback. He manages the game really well. He's got a great arm. Um, he's very experienced. He gets the ball out quick. So, you know, they're a good team. They're an experienced team. They're going to come ready to play. When you go back and look at that tape from last year, what, what's the feeling? Uh, I felt like we should have won that game. And we, you know, many, there we had many chances and situations to win that game, and we didn't close out. And uh, so this year, we need to make sure we get the job done. From a pressure standpoint, that was something the coach said after that game. You guys needed to get more. Uh, how do you try and do that this year? Yeah, last year I felt like we didn't get enough pressure on the quarterback. Uh, for sure, I just didn't get enough pressure on the quarterback. So, you know, I feel like this year as a team, as a unit, we've uh, continued to increase that each and every week. We've continued to grow. So we got to continue to try to take another step this week. I know there's still not a lot of film, but how are they different without Larkin in there running back from earlier in the year? Um, he's obviously a great running back. Uh, prayers and my thoughts go out to him. But, you know, they got a good offensive line up front. So um, whatever back they put in there, I saw 20 was running the ball well against Michigan. So um, I, believe, I think four got the ball a little bit as well. So, you know, they're going to come ready to play, and they're going to do what they do. Kenny, Mike Panisha calls you an animal. Is that a fair assessment? I guess so. You could say that. You seem to be playing with a little bit more, I want to call it flair, a little more pizzazz, if you will. Is there something to playing with an edge, an attitude, a personality out there for you? Yeah, you know, I, have, I got a year of experience last year, obviously, so I was still feeling out defensive end last year, and I feel like I've started coming to my own, own a little bit this year, and uh, you know, I credit most of it to Chuck Bulla. You know, he's Coach Bulla. He's <laughs> taken uh, me under his wing. He's taught me so much. He's, he rides me very hard each and every day, but uh, the things that he's taught me, the things that he's given me to add to my tool belt, you know, I'm forever grateful because he's continued to make me a better player each and every day. Something Mike and Raekwon both said is finishing in the fourth quarter is a point of emphasis for you guys. You haven't done that. You've been outscored 44-7 over the last three games in the fourth quarter. How do you close out? How do you hold guys accountable to make sure you sprint through the finish line? Uh, I think it just starts every day in practice. You know, we got to make sure we're finishing in practice each and every day and uh, just bring bringing the energy for all, all – being focused and bring energy throughout the entire practice so we can do the same for the game. Is there anything that you take away from the Michigan game against Northwestern just this past week? Anything that stands out to you about how you're going to attack Clayton Thorson? Uh, we just got to get pressure on him. He's, a, I mean, he's obviously an experienced quarterback. He's a great quarterback. He's got composure. He's going to get rid of the ball. But we got to uh, put pressure on him and get pressure on him. Finally, Kenny, how are you feeling physically right now at this point in the season? <laughs> I feel good. I feel ready to go. Yes, sir. All right.